Platelet-rich plasma, or PRP therapy, uses injections of a concentration of a patient's own platelets to accelerate the healing of, let's say, injured tendons, ligaments, muscles, and even joints. And in this way, PRP injections use each individual patient's own healing system to improve muscular skeletal problems. But patients need to understand that there are many different treatment options. This is going to be really informational. Here with more are Patrick Penny, president and CEO of MSI Corporation and Miami-based plastic and reconstructive surgeon, Dr. George Vargarakis. What's the difference between, let's say, PRP and stem cells? Because a lot of patients may think we're talking stem cells. These two therapies are very similar. However, there are some distinct differences between the two. Uh, Platelet-rich plasma uses growth factors to heal wounds, and these growth factors are found within the alpha granules of the platelet molecule. When these uh, uh, alpha granules are concentrated in a clinical form and applied to a wound, they stimulate the reparative activity of the wound, ultimately increasing the ability for that wound to heal. Stem cells will do everything that a platelet can do, but they add a differentiating cell population to the mix. Okay. Um, that is referred to as progenitor stem cells, which are regenerative stem cells. And when those are clinically concentrated and applied to the wound, they differentiate into the damaged tissue within the wound, ultimately supplementing that tissue with good and viable cells. So these two therapies, when combined together, they form a very powerful treatment application. PRP, the growth factors, enhance the result of the stem cells. So when we like to give the fat injections to the patients for various uh, indications, like for the breast cancer, for the breast defects, uh, we're placing PRP into the fat. In that way, we have uh, higher success for survival. So Patrick, let me ask you this. Um, patients then, I guess, should know uh, the type of PRP the physician is using, obviously, for recovery, because not all devices are, I guess, equal? There is no performance standardization for PRP devices, but there is a performance standardization requirement for clinical outcomes. And most of these devices don't meet that requirement. Uh, clinical research shows that in order to have an effective PRP product, you should have at least one billion platelets per milliliter. If you're treating a patient with five mLs, you should have five billion platelets in that treatment sample, okay? It is not the only indicator uh, for effective PRP product, but it is by far the most important indicator. I would ask patients to challenge their physicians out there and ask them, does the PRP device that's used to prepare my PRP, uh, is it capable of producing a billion platelets per milliliter? And if not, they're likely not getting the full benefit of the therapy. Well, doctor, you use m in your practice. Now, can you talk a little bit about its efficacy and some of your patient outcomes? It's a combination. It's not just the system, it's also the doctor. Of course, uh, having a very good high quality product like the M-Site, uh, it tremendously has helped me in my practice. I have uh, solved uh, difficult cases with the use of PRP, and also I have uh, reconstructed um, difficult wounds uh, with adipose st stem cell uh, tissue and fat and fat. Uh, the way I'm harvesting the fat, uh, um, I'm giving the fat to the, to the machine and to centrifuge and using the M-Site uh, protocol, and in that way we're getting even more stem cells. And then we inject to have a very good results. The best way to harvest and then to process the fat is a combination that we are doing right now with the M site. So Patrick, why is it lending itself to be actually the leader in uh, autologous regenerative medicine? 20 years of innovation has brought us to modern technology and PRP devices. And that brings us to our pure superphysiologic concentrating systems. That is our pure PRP our concentrating system, our pure BMC concentrating system, and our progenokine concentrating systems. These systems don't only meet, but they exceed the clinical threshold that's needed for effective patient outcomes. They go one step further to also look at the components within a PRP formulation that works counter to wound healing. These are glycemic substances, these are are oxidative substances and harmful inflammatory substances. And we have been able to uh, remove those substances uh, from our devices, which will ultimately lead to a much better outcome for a patient. Well, now that patients know what to ask for, where can they get more information? They can go to msite.com to learn a little bit more about our company and what we do and the products that we offer. And then they can go to gulfcoastbiologics.com 
where physicians can learn about the, the effective training programs that we have so that they can better educate themselves and with the various therapies that we offer. And I'm not going to forget those numbers. For every one ML, one billion. I got to remember those two. Got it. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen, so much for your time. And of course, you can always go to our website, thebalancingact.com, if you want more information.